हाय हेलो नमस्ते वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल इफ यू आर कम टू फर्स्ट टाइम माय चैनल सुधार करता पटेल जी प्लीज गो फॉर सब्सक्राइब ऑप्शन यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन टाइम टू टाइम हियर आई एम प्रिपेयरिंग द वीडियोस व्हिच आर रिलेटेड टू फिशरी सब्जेक्ट कंप्यूटर रिलेटेड इंफॉर्मेशन एंड लेटेस्ट टेक्नोलॉजी एंड माना आंध्र प्रदेश विशेषालु सो व्हाट एवर द वीडियोस आई हैव प्रिपेयर फॉर यू यू विल गेट द नोटिफिकेशन बाय दिस सब्सक्राइब ऑप्शन इन दिस चैनल and you please share with your friends neighbors and colleagues and students and today's topic is integrated fish farming it is iff integrated fish farming is a mixed culture we can produce the fishes with a combination of agriculture or livestock farming operations by the producing of excreta with the systems can be used to feed or manure to the fishes in pond level so with this system we can get the maximum utilization of nutrients with less cost effect and less negative effect of chemical fertilizers it reduces the feed cost manure cost and increases the soil fertility fast growth can be seen with this system within short time with the short food chain so it controls the aquatic weeds molluscs and insects increases the employment to the farmers the recycling of nutrients in easy way so with this system we can get the income in every time around the year the main concept of integrated system is there is no waste or any cost integrated fish culture is divided in two parts that is agri cum fish culture livestock cum fish culture agri cum fish culture have divided again five types of culture patterns and those are paddy horticulture mushroom seri vermicompost in case of livestock cum fish culture we have again six systems that is cattle pig goat or sheep poultry duck rabbit in this image you can see the number of cultural practices involved with aquaculture or fisheries that is fruits pigs goats sheep duck cattle and mushroom fishes poultry etc so so with this we can understand what is the integrated aquaculture system and the next slide is paddy cum fish culture so i am going to tell some of the very very important uh the bits for the competitive exams in that we can see two types of bits here so this paddy cum fish culture is a old practices and it is done in kerala areas in pokkali fields okay so this type of bits you have to remember again so very very important for the indian council of agriculture research icar okay so this is the most popular in asian countries culture period is 3 to 8 months for this system so now you can observe the image so this is a paddy field and this is a system what we have observed is fish culture okay so this is the system how the paddy field and fishes will get the nutrients for the growth of it okay so by the oxygen and carbon dioxide it will be producing nutrients with the help of sunlight by the photosynthetic activity next oleary culture here also another bit we have 
fruits and vegetables are popularly known as ulleri culture next system is horticulture cum fish culture producing of fruits and vegetables on the pond dikes as well as fishes okay so these plan these plants will be provide or add strength to the dikes next system is sericulture producing of silk by the silk worms so here i am going to tell the structure how it is established okay so so this is the dike okay so this is the mulberry plant which is located on the edges of the this dike okay just come to here so the cycle will be start from this area so once the silk worms will be reaches to this mulberry plant so these leaves of will be eaten by the silk worm so once the leaf of this plant will be eaten by the silk worms it will be excrete of the wastages or undigestible products of the leaves so it will be reaches directly to the pond environment so once it is reaches to the pond so that excreta will be convert or used by the fish directly or indirectly as a feed okay so that feed will be converted into growth of fishes once the excreta of fishes will be released to the edges of the pond so again it will be reaches through the sludge to the plant okay so this type of excreta again will be used by the plant for the growth it next vermi compost traditionally compost will be done by the decomposition process in previous years recently it has changed the name earth warming rearing it means the system is changed or uh, advanced for the decomposition process by the vermi okay that is earth worms 1 kg of earth worms produces 10 kg of vermi compost you can see the pictures these are the earth worms okay next biogas slurry it is a by product of biogas plant so you just remember i have told so many of bits for the competitive exams and this is also one of the bit and the system will be produces methane gas here i am going to inform in picture how the system is going to be done okay so what are the parts we have in system that is this is the inlet and this is the outlet part and this is the biodigester here we have the slurry area and whatever the gas is produced in this area it will be out by the this biogas pipe whatever the gas is produced that will be <coughs> save or stored in separate containers okay so generally this slurry is liquid which is discharged by the this digester it means bio digester through the outlet system of this biogas slurry system okay so this bio digester is fed by the fresh cow dung and water okay up to 2 to 3 months before being discharged as bio slurry okay next goat cum fish culture 
so it is also called as poor man's cow goat or sheep excretes the wastes or undigestible food which is eaten by the goat so that will be considered or considered for the good organic fertilizers for the fishes you can see the structure how it is established so this is the pond and where the goats are available in shed okay so whatever the outcome or excreta will be produces by the these goats directly reaches into the this pond system and next is rabbit come fish culture so it is an pet animal generally this rabbit is used for used for the experimental purposes the meat of this rabbit is generally preferred due to low fat content is available and with this highly involved nutrient content and low moisture content of this animal wastages will be produces plankton in sustainable way next is duck come fish culture so generally ducks are called as biofilters very very important ducks are called as bio filters so it is the most interaction is happens with the system to degraded culture so these ducks will be consume frogs tadpoles dragon flu to make safe environment to the fish pond or fish to ducks will be excrete the wastes into the pond which will be have the carbon sources phosphorus potassium minerals and calcium whatever the minerals will be released with this system will be turns the growth of fishes and next is mushroom so this mushroom requires more amount of humidity or water content to grow fastly so that water content or humidity level is available or abundant in aquaculture system generally composed of mushroom bed known as spent mushroom substrate which is called sms two types of mushrooms generally we are using that is agaricus bisporus and volvoriella species it means that is strong mushroom so these two types of mushrooms will be generally can be see in competitive exams and this one also humidity is required for the culture of so and so what we can get the this type of bits also in your competitive exams next pig come fish culture so that is so these are the fishes which we can see in downside of the system and this is the house where the pigs are located so this house is called pig sty so very very important for the competitive exams and generally we can see white elk shire of pig sty okay next scientific and common names red synthy is cattle type and mulberry leaves goat what is the relation between these two things in some areas silkworm system is failed so in those areas particularly this mulberry leaves will be used for the growth of goat so that is what have the link between mulberry leaves and goat and malkova is a type of sheep 
नेक्स्ट एक्वाटिक वीट कम फिश कल्चर जनरली दिस ग्रास कार्प इज एक्वाटिक वीट इट मीन्स इट इज ईटिंग ऑफ ग्रास इन पॉन लेवल सो दिस ग्रास कार्प इज ए एक्सोटिक कार्प ओके सो इट इज जनरली यूज फॉर द ईटिंग ऑफ ग्रास वॉट एवर द अवेलेबल ग्रास इज इन युअर पॉन्ड ओके सो इट विल बी इट्स लेमना वोल्फ या अजोला ओके अगेन ही आई एम टेंडिंग दिस अजोला इज ए बायो फर्टिलाइजर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड ग्रास कार हैव द फाइट्रॉइड स्केल्स इट इज ए टाइप ऑफ एक्सोटिक कार and carbon nitrogen ratios here we can see two types of carbon ratios in two systems that is peak com fish culture is 14 carbons one nitrogen paddy com fish culture other 10 carbon sources for one nitrogen okay iswf it means integrated soil water fertilizer management next fertilizers for 1 hectare pond okay here 3 to 4 type 4 number of cattle required to create or to produce the fertilizer for 1 hectare of pond whereas in pig system we need 30 to 40 of pigs For produce fertilizer for one hectare pond, whereas in duck system we must need two hundred to three hundred ducks for producing fertilizer for one hectare pond. Whereas poultry system we need minimum five hundred birds for the fertilizer to produce one hectare pond. okay and next so this is the again what i am telling so this is the integrated system it means two side benefit can be done either meat eggs milk or nutritious food and manuring type feed cost reduces and uses of uh, chemical fertilizers will be very 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 low naturally we can get the feed by this integrated system if you are like this video just click on like symbol and share with your friends and your students or your colleagues and subscribe this channel sudha karta pata youtube channel and click on bell symbol for the daily notifications whatever the videos i have prepared and i am going to prepare this type of videos especially for the competitive exams purposes and here i am going to show the images of whatever the subject i have selected for you all once again subscribe it and thank you